Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and this is a quick video that you can use a Stirling engine to get refrigeration. The um, non-sealed piston types don't really work that well though because there is a lot of friction. You have to get them up to about eight or 9,000 RPM to get an effective cooling out of them. This particular engine here I got up to about 8,000 RPM and it seized up and it um, actually a bunch of stuff broke inside of it. These are not made. These are not designed for cooling at high RPM. They have an RPM of about two or 3,000. That's it. If you take them and hook them to a high-speed motor like this, you'll destroy them. And there's an easy way to tell how that happens. There's a certain wear that it does that doesn't happen any other time. And you, um, so they're not designed for that. So I'm gonna run this one real quick and just show you. Right now this is running at about 4,000 RPM. And you can see the rapid temperature drop that we're experiencing at the displacer. Now that may seem really amazing and cold and all that. I mean, it's amazing that it does that, that it works that way in reverse, but it's not, there's not that much cold there. Um, we can get this engine all the way down to about 30 degrees, 40 watts to get this down to 30 degrees. It's going to take a while to do that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect this. And I'm going to reverse the direction. Normal, a lot of Stirling engines can run off of the sun with heat in opposite directions. But when you run them opposite directions with this setup, one way produces heat, the other way produces cooling. You can see a rapid heat climb at the displacer. So that's just simply by me reversing the direction. Right now it is outside. Uh, no, this is another engine that hasn't been run at all today. We're at about 60 degrees right now. That's our, that's this is a nice cool day. This displacer up here is already up to 80 degrees, 82, 83. And the motor that got this to freezing, got that this engine to freezing, is right here, and that one actually completely burned it up. So what I'm gonna do is show you one more time. We're up to 92 degrees, 93, and outside temperature, solid 60. So we've added 30 degrees, I'm gonna reverse them. And the displacer that was in the high, now that heat's being ripped out of there rapidly. There is a cooler out there that has a completely sealed piston. It is a free, it's called a free piston. It uses, does not have connecting rods like this. It uses magnets, a magnetic field to move the piston up and down. Basically do the same thing. Somebody posted a comment that Coleman made them and that there's another company out there. They did and they're, you can't really get a hold of them now. They were like three, four hundred dollars for just a regular ice chest cooler. They could get really cold. They were a very efficient design. By being a free piston, meaning that there's no connections here, you don't suffer that friction and they could also take advantage of a gas helium in there. They were great as coolers and they probably, if I can find one, they'll probably work pretty good as an engine too. I do not know, but uh, that's, thank you for that post. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.